I would like to show you some special effects uh, for your skeletons just by moving one photo on top of the other. And um, this one here I'd like to change first. Um, so go to Image, Adjustments, Invert. And I would like to move this one on top of this guy. So you need your Move tool, which is here at the top. And all you do is click and drag him over. And make sure that he fits. And then um, down here we have the two layers right here. So make sure the top layer is highlighted. And then right in here on, are the um, blending options. And this is where you can play around with the different looks. And um, you can either use your mouse or the arrow um, key on your keyboard and just keep moving up until you get what you like. Uh, saturation? No. Hue? No. Uh, divide? Whoa, see? That I already kind of think is really cool. So when you discover something that you like, the best thing to do is go to File, Save As, find a folder that you want to save it in, uh, Pictures, and over here, and I'm just going to save it in here. So um, make sure that it's a JPEG. And then just click on Save. OK. Um, go back to Edit, Step Backward. And um, you can continue. And keep looking for ones that you like. Ooh. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, let's see. Hard mix. Ooh. Look at all these wonderful variations. I like that one too. Um, so again, if you like something, you can save it. You can save it as a Photoshop document or turn it into a JPEG. Um, and let's see, Vivid Light, that's really cool. I'm saving that one. Save as, see here, it'll be um, either a PSD, which is Photoshop document, or you can change it into a JPEG and use it somewhere um, in case you want to post it on the internet. Or It's uh, Zazzle.com is a great place where you can upload your images and um, create gift cards and okay cancel I have to just change this uh, you can make greeting cards on Zazzle there we go save okay he's saved so I hope you enjoy and have fun don't be scared because you can always start from scratch so happy Halloween